So what is a biblical anthropologist? Well, anthro means man, and ology is an area of study. When you put the word Bible in front of it, what you get is people who are studying the people of the Bible. So every Christian, every Bible reader is a bit of an anth amateur anthropologist. Surprise, you didn't know you were one. <laughs> However, unknown to a lot of people is that the Bible is very culturally specific. It was written by people who lived 20 centuries to 34 centuries ago and they spoke and wrote in the manner that they were accustomed to according to their time that they lived and in the culture that they lived in. That makes the Bible rather culturally specific in the way it's taught, in the way it's presented. So how much does that really matter? Well, I assembled some video clips to present how different people are from one culture to another. So let's bring up a couple of modern pieces and see how that relates to us modern people. I'm going to tell y'all why I believe in Christ. When I was on the road, straight to a dead end, didn't know where I was headed. Facing 25 in life in the penitentiary, had no one to call on but God. So you know that first one relates to a certain segment of society and it works perfectly for them. Perhaps a little broader appeal is the worship band and I have an example of that. Now that's different from when I was a little kid. What I grew up on was something they called congregational singing, and I have a little clip of that. When we all get to When I was a kid, sometimes there were musical groups, Christian groups, that toured around and we got to go to a concert, which we thought was really a lot of fun. They were called gospel concerts. And I'll show you an, show you an example of that. Now, if we stay in contemporary times and just move across a couple of continents, a couple of oceans to Israel, we find praise and worship music that sounds very different to our ears. I mean, it's not only not in English, but it's also using a musical style that's unique to that area. Now, if we go to Europe and go backwards about a thousand years, we have the beginnings of a style that was appropriate for those people at those time in their churches. Contemporary people have been interested in what was the ancient Middle East like. Uh, one 
contemporary musician went to Israel and other places in the Middle East and studied their instruments and developed some contemporary music in that style honoring the Messiah. Some other musicians have tried to resurrect music that would have been more understood by Abraham and people in Babylonia and Chaldea, and this is their style. You see, each culture has its own style of praise and worship. Each culture has its own style of presenting gospel or truth or stories. The Hebrews were responsible for this book, the ancient Hebrews. And unless you grew up in ancient Mesopotamia or ancient Israel or Judea, there are things that you can miss not knowing the culture. The, the essential theological messages are universal. But you might get them wrong if you don't understand the way in which it's presented in this ancient Eastern book. That's why you study culture. That's why you pay attention to culture. You know, their language idioms, their peculiar ways of thinking, their belief structure, their view of, you know, how the cosmos is made and, you know, cosmo cosmos geography. That's all very specific to a culture, and especially in ancient times when they didn't have 21st century science, they didn't have the Hubble telescope, they didn't even have telescopes, that didn't even come until about 500 years ago. So, no, the Bible doesn't reflect 21st century science. It reflects ancient Middle Eastern culture. But to, just to show you how peculiar you know, some of this can get, I'll show you a clip that speaks loudly to me, and this comes from my early 20s. Well, I don't care if it rains or freezes, as long as I got my plastic Jesus riding on the dashboard of my car. With all the trials and tribulations, we will travel every nation with my Jesus. Yeah, I go far. Okay, that's a little unorthodox, but I tell you, I wrote the book on unorthodox. I am an unorthodox believer, so until next time, keep looking up. <laughs>